you install custom installer for the 3DS, you want to type in custom install 3DS and you want to go to the GitHub. Now you're in the GitHub, you'd want to go to custom install here, click on releases. Now you're in releases, you want to download this custom standalone zip and you can see this might take a while to download. So you want to open up your files and you can see it's here, so you want to extract this. So click extract all and you want to extract it here, it doesn't really matter where you extract it. So this will take a bit as well. Once you have this extracted, it should look like this, a lot like this here. You don't really need this this file here, and I'll teach you how to get this file now. So you want to go back on Chrome, and you want to get out of here, and you want to scroll down on the page, and it will have uh, somewhere for a seed, seed.db, you will need to download that. So we're on here, and we just need to click here, download seed.db. I already have this, so I'm just going to delete that one, because I've already downloaded it once. So I'm going to go back on to my file explorer and close that. Now you can see we have file, we have the seed db and we have standalone, custom install standalone. You can see we have the custom install file here so we don't need to download this file so that's nothing to worry about. Now we have all the files we need, we need to get the, S the 3ds ready. So we're going to go on to 3ds right now. So we're on the DS so you want to press power and you want to press the start button. This will boot us into God Mode 9. Now you'd want to go to... This one here, the second, the first one, sys nand, and you want to click that, and you want to go to private here and click private, and you can see here it says movable. Sid. We'll need this file, so we need to click A on the con on the controller, and you can see here it says copy to geo out. So click A. Then after that's done, we press B. I've already done that, so I don't need to copy it again. So you want to press A. I've already done that, so you can press B and B again and now we'll need to press B again to get out of that and we need to go to virtual memory and we need to copy two files we need to copy a bin file so press L on the controller and you can see that's has been selected so we want to go to op.temp and click that you can see they're both selected so now you want to press A on the controller and you want to click copy to GM out here, so you want to press A, but I've already done that as well, so I'm just going to press B and B, you just want to copy them files to, and since we've already done that, you want to press, well, home, and you want to go to power off system, here, power off system, and that's this, that's this part done. Now all we need to do is just take out the SD card, and put it into our computer, as you can see it's right here, let's take this into the computer. The one thing we want to do is, is we want to go click on this file here and we want to copy this file to our DS folder so let's open this again and we have another instance open so you want to go to an intent to your SD card mine's called Nintendo and now we want to drag the 3DS file into the DS you can see I have a DS folder here so you want to click on the DS folder and you can see I've already done that but I'll show you how you do it so you want to drag this here. So you just want to drag the file, the custom install to here and copy it to DS. And I'll, I've already done that, it's already there for me, but you need to drag that in as that's important. So okay, I've done that. So I'm going to close that. And now we've done that, you need to go to here. And you want to click on to custom install standalone. And you want to click to the GUI and you want to click your root of your SD which is just yeah just click on your SD card that's mine here and you can see it's already found out those files here if you can't find those files at all you might need to manually check for them so you can go to GM9 for God Mode, God Mode 9 and click out folder and you can see I have those three folders here that we've moved to out so let's go back to downloads and let's click on custom install standalone and keep clicking that until we see this ci.gui.exe double click this and repeat the steps again so go to nintendo here and select folder and seed.db is important now the thing that we installed earlier it's right here we need to click this as this will help load up any games titles from after 2015 and we need to add a game now i'll get a game and we'll add this so now all this is here you want to click add cia and you want to click on your cia file this one's mine which i'm going to use and it would should show up here you can see here it showed up 
And now you want to click start install. This is much quicker than using FBI. As FBI can take up to 4 to 6 hours if you directly download from a certain website. But here it's just taking like under a minute I'd say. Once it's finished you'll get a thing saying that all titles are installed. And you'll see that this also says done as well. So now this is installed you want to take our SD card and put it back into our, our DS. So let's power on our 3DS. Click the power on button. Now we can see it's powered on. You want to go to homebrew. You want to click on homebrew here. Click A and open it up. Now you can see we want to go down to custom install and click it. Now you can see this is downloading. It's already downloaded. So press start and we'll wait a little bit. And now we want to press home button and click X to close it. And we can see we have new software has been added to the home menu. So let's click OK. And we can see right here we have the game. 